because you can give those opportunities up, especially if you're trying to nip into this game. Seven minutes to go. Nine-point game, nearly a turnover. Bolden saves it, just had it slip out of his hands. Joe Jackson really extending against Angelo Johnson. Now a mismatch with Tarek Black. Chris Crawford comes up with a steal. He's going to try and take it all the way and finishes. Nine points now for Chris Crawford. He's played a good second half. And it was Crawford who is coming up with a second steal and being able to finish the other end. And just when it seems like Southern Miss is able to put a stamp on it, Memphis makes a good play to try to still get back in the game. Seven-point ball game. Down to 15 on the shot clock. Coming up on the six-minute mark. We expected a high-energy basketball game. Newville has a shot blocked inside by Carmooch. Great play by Carmooch, but I still don't understand why, as you see, what could possibly be an and one. Joe Jackson fouled on the shot. He of getting the ball inside to Flowers when he's got a smaller Carmooch on him. Jackson misses the free throw, but he ends up with it in his hands. Shot blocked, tied up. Alternate possession gives it to Memphis. Into a bigger defender, you're making a run, run a set play. Chris Crawford gets the screen. He'll try a long three, and he makes it. What a shot by Chris Crawford. Two-point ball game in Hattiesburg. Crawford has come up big for this Memphis team in the second half. Now as they try to turn over Southern Miss, if you saw them Southern Miss, get the ball in their playmaker's hands, run a play, keep your composure. We were tied at 2-2. We've not been tied since. Another block by Carmooch. Back-to-back trips, he's come up with a block. Ooh, Crawford saves the turnover there for Memphis. Tigers oh. could tie or take the lead. Jackson, Carmooch for three. No, but the follow by Will Barton. 62 apiece. How about the Memphis Tigers being able to make a run? Talked about them being able to create opportunities with their defense. Tide is changing right now. Tie game, so the miss coming down. Five minutes to go in the Tigers without their senior leader, Will Coleman. Will they have enough in the tank? Maurice Bolden to Horton. Southern Miss, a little stagnant on offense right now. And a foul inside. Up. And I made the comment a second ago, the offense is a little stagnant. Powers understand that that's a mismatch, and he can take advantage of that when they give him the ball. Back out to a two-point lead, 64-62. Larry Eustachie begging this crowd to help his basketball team. Joe Jackson. Dumps it inside. Tarek Black with a one-handed slam. Great pass by Joe Jackson being able to get into the teeth of the defense. Draw the defender and get it over to Tarek Black for the monster throwdown. That's a big assist there for Joe Jackson. DJ Newbill. They go inside to Gary Flowers. Banks it in. He loves that 10-foot bank shot. And, Richard, that's what I'm talking about. You get the ball inside, and you know Gary Flowers is going to be able to shoot over his man. That's what they have to take advantage of. Joe Jackson misses, gets his own rebound, and puts it back. Seesaw battle in Hattiesburg. I think the Southern Miss defenders are anticipating the charge. You can't give up on the play. You have to play the whistle. Great putback by Jackson. That's twice we've seen that inside where the officials have allowed play to move on. Gary Flowers. Porton out front. Memphis in a zone. Ooh, Southern Miss nearly turned it over. Flowers has got 21 and a turnover. Great, Will Barton. Great anticipation by Barton. Darren Newbill to shoot it. Tiger lead for the first time in the ball game. Three ball by Will Barton. Force Memphis out of that double team. Memphis chilling press. They double it. So the miss gets it away to DJ Newbill. Coming up on the three minute mark, it's a three point lead. Gary Flowers sits on his average of 21 points a game. Angelo Johnson, who's big early. Memphis creates another turnover. DJ Steffens gets it off to Will Barton. Back to Steffens. In. Out the foot. 
They count it. Count it. Surprise, not a foul. Great finish by Stephens. If you notice, Memphis has got five guards out there being able to turn up the energy and being able to finish. So the Tigers lead by five. I was waiting on two things. One, was there a foul? And two, did Stephens hang on the rim? Throw line also. Another interesting stat is that we talked about one of the keys to the game. To go. DJ Newbill makes them both. Or excuse me, makes one out of two to make it a four-point game. Tiger basketball. Angelo Johnson guarding Joe Jackson. 18 to 5 run for the Tigers. Back to the Will Barton. Memphis wants to go inside. Southern is kind of sagging, not allowing that to happen. And Jackson goes down low and turns it over. He's trying to get it to Tariq Black, but instead he threw it to Gary Flowers. Southern miss. Two minutes to go. Down four. Josie Moore, Iarza. Great shot by Iarza being able to step into that three. As you see, the fans here, Southern Miss. 13 points for Iarza. It's a one point game. 90 seconds remaining. Will Barton for three. No. Kept alive by Black. Can't get the put back, but a tip in inside. Will Barton gets the bucket. Great tip by Barton. Got to give a lot of credit to Tariq Black being able to keep that alive. Don't go anywhere right now because we got a, a great finish right now ahead of us. We promised you a good basketball game tonight. Sometimes we lie. Not tonight. Big block inside. Who got it? 73-70. Memphis with the lead. Golden Eagles with the ball. Ryan Oliver and Richard Cross with you from Hattiesburg. Golden Eagles trying to snap a 14-game losing streak to the Tigers. Good pull up from six feet for R.L. Horton. Great pull up by Horton. Not going too far in, knowing when to pull up. As you see, Southern Miss fans trying to root their team on the victory. They need a stop. Joe Jackson all the way in, kicks it out. He's called for a charge. A close one. Well, you teach your guards not to leave your feet until you're actually set. Three second differential, shot clock. Game clock. R.L. Horton. Memphis needs a stop. They lead it by one. Horton. IRs have thought about the three. He gets it out to Horton. 15 on the shot clock. Horton pull up. 15 feet. Got it. Shot clock's off. 16.4 remaining. Great shot by Horton as he's coming down to the end. Carmouche pulls up from 15 feet. No. Southern Miss got the rebound. And the Tigers foul. That's Tarek Black's fifth. Hi guys, that if Gary Flowers knocks down both of these, these uh, free throws, that you don't help off of any penetration. That a two doesn't hurt us, a three will tie. And you tell your guys to stay with the shooters. If they hit a two, as we see, Gary Flowers is about to go into his shooting motion, and Doug Sermons blew his whistle. He and Mike Thibodeau, I think, want to make sure that Flowers is the one that's supposed to be shooting. And I can't lie to you that when I used to play, that a lot of times when the game was at the gut and there was some discrepancy, if it's one of our guys that wasn't the best free throw shooter, I would, line. I would go to the line until the ref actually pulled me off the line. Little gamesmanship there by the Golden Eagles and Larry Eustachy. R.L. Horton, conversely, at the free throw line, 73.8%. Gary Flowers, 74.3%. So not really a lot of difference, except the fact that Gary Flowers is the leader on this basketball team. He wanted to be at the line. And you know what they say, it's better to ask uh, forgiveness than permission. That's right. Horton, to shoot two. First one, no good. And if you're Memphis, you have to gang rebound this because you've got a small group on here. Big to come up with this rebound if it comes off. Carmouche and Barham were down low. They got the block out. Barham will throw it in. Southern Miss guards the inbound. Joe Jackson into the front court. Dumps it off. Carmouche for three. Oh, got it. Oh, baby. Three-tenths of a 
second oh, remaining. Hey, and are, Memphis, trailing by two, takes a one-point lead. Are you kidding me? We talked about them being able to get the ball, and you see the penetration. And how about the awareness of Joe Jackson knowing where Carmich Carmuch was? Carmuch coming up with probably the biggest shot of his career. Nice three, nothing but net. The officials go to check the time in the game. Charles Carmucha Jr. on this basketball team. It's his first year with the program. He played at the University of New Orleans a year ago. UNO decided it was time to move from Division I to Division III. Division III, there are no scholarships, and so the NCAA allows players to transfer without penalty. Charles Carmuch ended up in Memphis, and he just made his biggest shot as a Tiger. What a dagger. What a dagger. We talk about this Memphis team and their youth. How about them not panicking? You know, Joe Jackson has been a guy that's been up and down the whole game, but how about his presence of mind not forcing that play and realizing where to get the ball to one of his shooters? Saquon Stone will throw it in. 1.2 seconds remaining in Hattiesburg. Throws it in quarterback style. Picked off. Intercepted by Chris Crawford and the Memphis Tigers, who trail by 18, escape. And it's time for our player of the game, our Geico go-to player of the game, no doubt about it. The man that hit the dagger at the end, Charles Carmooch. Uh, Charles Carmooch, guy that stepped up from Memphis, gave them the easy baskets. And the guy that knocked down the dagger to give them big on the road win as the Memphis Tigers Go away with 76 75. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Call Geico at 1 800 947 Auto. That's 1 800 947 AUTO. Or visit Geico.com. 11 points on four out of 10 shooting. We promised you a good one when we started this about two and hours and uh, two minutes ago. Well, you got it. Tigers win it tonight, 76-75 over the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. A big night at Reed Green Coliseum in Hattiesburg. For my partner, Brian Oliver, and all of our CSS crew, I'm Richard Cross. The Tigers have now won 15 in a row against Southern Mississippi. Up next in Nashville, it's Ole Miss and Vanderbilt. Good night from Hattiesburg on CSS.